Mr. Jenis, seconded by Mrs. Stubbs, move that the House A strongly condemn the current regime in Iran for its ongoing sponsorship of terrorism around the world. Well, here we go again. Six years ago, Parliament voted in favor of my motion to list the IRGC as a terrorist organization. Uh, this is the Iranian state-backed organization responsible for so much terror and violence throughout the Middle East and around the world. Six years ago, Parliament voted to list the IRGC as a terrorist organization. I declare the motion carried. The Prime Minister, the Liberal Caucus, actually voted for it. Okay, so apparently we're still, <laughs> we're still on those in favor, apparently. Monsieur Trudeau. Monsieur Trudeau. Madame Jolie. Madame Jolie. Monsieur Champagne. Monsieur Champagne. Ms. Freeland. Ms. Freeland. Ms. Freeland. The Liberal Caucus actually voted for it, but they failed to implement it. Over the last six years, despite continuing to, to talk about how maybe they're thinking about it, they have refused to act to list the IRGC as a terrorist organization. So Conservatives are bringing this issue back to Parliament for another vote. We are again testing the government. Will they vote in favor of listing the IRGC as they did six years ago, or won't they? And after they vote, will they finally act? Why have they failed to act for the last six years? We'll see how the different political parties vote today when again we put the question to the House of Commons on listing the IRGC as a terrorist organization. Now Conservatives have been clear, as soon as Conservatives are elected, we will list the IRGC as a terrorist organization. In fact, we've already put forward a private member's bill, C-350, which would list the IRGC, but Liberals have continually blocked that bill from advancing. So let's watch later today to see how the House of Commons votes on the urgent need to recognize the IRGC as a terrorist organization.